It's a sight rarely seen on the streets of Hong Kong. Thousands of people clashing with police as they protest against proposed changes to extradition laws, which would see Hong Kong citizens sent to face criminal charges in mainland China instead. Today, its chief executive, Carrie Lam, has been defending the amendments, saying that while she won't sell out Hong Kong, the place she grew up in, her incentive for change was to capture a murderer who killed his girlfriend and returned home to Hong Kong to escape prosecution. As tear gas and rubber bullets are used by police to control the crowds, the crowds persist in making their voices heard. Many concerned about the impact the new bill would have on their civil liberties. At, at the heart is the uncertainty created uh, by the coalition of, the, uh, of two judiciary systems. So on one side is the Chinese judiciary system, which is not, in, the, not independent from the Chinese government and also the Communist Party. And also, it has a poor track record of uh, human rights violation. As protesters continue to demonstrate against legislative changes, the government is preparing to vote on the bill in a few weeks' time. But until then, for those who live in Hong Kong, tensions will be running high. Catherine Nash, Five News.